you are most welcome so the first thing you have to do is to cut the material like this so this is the material that i'm using for the pocket and then the wideness of this pocket is a the material is a, almost 10 inches so that is a 10 inches while the length is a while the length is a 9 inches so that is the length so i'm cutting a three i'm using three for this uh, dress that i'm making so the, you have to fold it like this and then you get the ghetto at the center for the for the tray now, now this is the cover so this is the cover that i'm using so i just apply st at uh, on one side and this is uh, four inches so and then the wideness is a uh, nine inches so you apply st at uh, one side of this uh, cover so this is a three for the cover of this uh, pocket so on the middle like this you mark a uh, 1.2 uh, so you mark 1.2 so that is what i have left you are uh, mark 1.2 here also and then you do the same thing on all other ones as well and then you roll it uh, you roll it uh, straight down roll it straight down like this and then when you finish rolling it then you proceed to the sewing machine and then you stitch it on this line straight down so let me do that and come back so here it is after i've already stitched it then you iron it and then you open it like this so once you open it then you need to open these uh, stitches to get the pattern which you have at the middle like this so that is it then you do the same thing on all other ones also and just open it like this And that is it so after you finish ironing it like this then you need to weave the edge and then for you to apply hemming gum at the at the edge so you'll be able to fold the top of this uh, pocket so you have to apply you have to weave this side then you fold it like this so this is it after I've, uh, after I've already with it and then you fold it like this then you apply aiming gum on it please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel make sure you click on the subscribe button and make sure you help me give this video a thumbs up so that a lot of people will be able to benefit from it so after you have uh, pressed it like this then you fold this uh, side like this so you have to measure the wideness from this uh, middle so these are uh, 6 inches so you have to place the 3 inches on the side so I'm measuring the six inches for the wideness of this uh, pocket so you are folding three inches on the uh, both side and then you you iron it straight down like this and then you fold the bottom also so the bottom is a 6.5 and that is it so you do the same thing on all the other ones as well. So you do the same thing on these other ones. And let's proceed to the sewing machine to fix it to the material. And then you put the cover on it. So the wideness of this is 6 inches. While the length is a 6.5. So this is a 6 inches and the 6.5 while this is the one that will be on the chest which is a 5 inches by 5.2 inches so that is it on that so this is the i'm fixing it on the chest so this is the smallest one that i'm fixing now so the length of this is a 6.5 so from this side you measure like a 2.5 or 2 inches so depending on the chest of the of the person you are working with so then you can use office pin to secure the pocket like this and then you run the stitches on it So just stitch it straight down like this 
and that is that on how to stitch uh, this uh, pocket so i will have to fix the pocket on the one and the down part also and then i will fix the cover on it so let me quickly do that and then fix the cover on the pocket as well so the wideness of this is a 2.5 why this a uh, length here is a 3.5 inches so that is it on this uh, space that i'm putting from the bottom line and i use office pin to secure it the way i did the first one and i will run stitches all across this uh, pocket so that is it on that so you have to do the third one and this is the cover so the this will be for the smallest one while this one will be for the biggest size so i mark it as a 5.2 so that i'll be able to cover the pocket very well without having any space on the side so if you make make the pocket to be six inches you have to make like uh, the cover to be like a uh, 6.2 or you make it a 6.1 so that after you have uh, turned everything inside the cover will still give you the normal size so just trim out the excess like this and then you turn it inside and then you press it but before you press it you can also use a needle to baste the side like this so that the back of this uh, joining will not be reflecting at the at the front so you can as well use a hand needle to paste the edge like this or you just iron it uh, directly if you can as well do that so do this all on this uh, cover so that is it on this then you proceed to the table to do the ironing and here it is after i've already pressed it and then the wideness of this one is a uh, three inches you can also make it a uh, 2.5 so that the cover will not be too too much too big then you place it on the edge like this then you stitch it uh, straight down and just stitch this uh, edge here Make sure you need all the threads. Just back stitch it there. Then do the same thing on this side. And that is it on now to fix this uh, pocket. And here is the result. You can see this. Please, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a, th a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. In the next video, I'll be taking you through the process of how to stitch this shirt from A to Z. So make sure you click on the subscribe button and you also turn on your notification bell. To meet again in the next video, I say thank you for watching and then bye for now.